Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write a C program to display the hollow right angle triangle star pattern, or we can display any numbers, you know, instead of stars. So here, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to complete this pattern. And instead of this hollow right angle triangle pattern, we will make it a right angle triangle pattern. So I'm going to add stars in these uh, empty areas. So I'm going to add a star in here here and here. Now it is a right angle triangle star pattern. So what we do is first we will write the code for printing the right angle triangle star pattern and then we will modify the code and we will make it a hollow right angle triangle pattern. Let us divide this pattern in terms of rows and columns. So we can say this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. Similarly, first column, second column, third column, fourth column and fifth column. Now here for the time being, just forget about the hollow right angle triangle pattern. Just think about this right angle triangle pattern. In a particular tutorial, I have explained everything in detail to print the right angle triangle star pattern and you know how we can modify that one to display the numbers. The link for that tutorial will be available in the description box. If you want, you guys can check that out. So here, whenever we are printing a pattern, what we do is we print the pattern row by row or line by line. So we go to the first line, we will print the content of the first line. Then we go to the second line, we will print the contents. Then we go to the third line, we will print the contents. And similarly, we will uh, print every line. And when we are done with printing all the lines, we have the pattern. Now we have to come up with the logic for printing the number of stars for a specific row. So if you look at it in the first row, we have one star in the second row, we have two star in the third row, we have three star in the fourth row, we have four star. Similarly, if this pattern is going to have, let us say hundred row, then the hundredth row will have hundred stars. So we can say that the number of stars that we have to print for a particular row is actually equal to row number. In the fourth row, we will print four stars. So by using this logic, we can construct the program. So now uh, we can start writing the code for printing the right angle triangle star pattern. So here I have included the stdio.h header file to the program. And also I have written the main function, which will be the entry point of our program from our perspective. So the first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we need in this program. We will ask the user to enter for how many rows he wants this right angle triangle star pattern. So uh, to store that value, we need a variable. So I'm going to take an integer type of variable and I'm going to call it as num rows and I will initialize it with a value of zero. And after that, we can use the printer function and we can ask the user to enter the number of rows. And after that, we can use the scanf function and we can read the value entered by the user and we can store that in this num rows variable. So now we know for how many rows we have to print the pattern. So as I said before, we will print this pattern line by line. So in this pattern, we have to print several lines and also that line numbers or how many lines that we have to print will depend on the value entered by the user. So what we can do is we can use a for loop, which will dynamically construct the number of lines depending on the user input. So I'm going to take a for loop in here. And this for loop is for the number of lines that we have to print. Or we can say that this for loop is for the number of rows that we have to print. So here I'm going to take a loop counter variable. I'm going to call it as row number and the row number will start from one and how many rows we want to print that value will be uh, depending on the value entered by the user. So we can write the for loop condition here as, as long as this row number contains a value which is less than or equal to the value present in the numbers variable, we want to run the for loop. So if the user says, I want to print this pattern for five rows, then this for loop will run for five times and it will display five lines or five rows. After that, we can increment the value of this row num variable with every iteration. So here, what we have to do is for every line or for every row, we have to print the star 
or any other symbol that we have to print and after printing this star for a particular line what we have to do is we have to go to the next line for printing the next line or next row so what we can do here is after printing the contents of a line we can insert a new line so that the next row or the next line will be printed it will appear in a separate line so i'm going to use the printer function in here and i'm going to add the uh, new line in here by using the slash n format specifier okay so now what we have to do we have to construct the logic we have to calculate and print number of stars that we have to print for a particular line or particular row so here um, since the number of stars that we have to print for a particular row or particular line varies so what we can do is we can use another for loop so I'm going to take another for loop and this for loop will contain the number of stars that we have to print. We can also say that this for loop will contain the number of columns that we have to print for a particular row, which is same because the number of stars or number of columns present in a particular row is equal to row number in this case. So here I'm going to take the uh, variable name as column for column number and we will initialize it with a value of one and next condition is how many columns that we want to print for a particular row or how many stars that we have to print for a particular row that value will depend on the row number if we are in the third row we want to print three stars or three columns so we can write the condition here as as long as the column num variable contains a value which is less than or equal to the value present in the row num variable we want to run this for loop after that with every iteration we will increment the value of this column num and after that we can print the character that we want to print so in this case we can use the printf function and we will print the star and after printing star i'm gonna add a space this space will act as the separator between uh, one column and the next column or one star and the next star okay now if i save this program and if i run this code if i enter the number of rows as five here now you guys can see we have the right angle triangle star pattern now i have explained this pattern in detail in a separate video the link will be in the description box if you want you guys can check that out okay so now what we have to do is from this right angle triangle star pattern we have to modify it and we have to make it a hollow right angle triangle star pattern so now we will remove the stars that we have added in the beginning so i'm gonna remove them now so now you guys can see it is a hollow right angle triangle pattern now the difference here is in the normal right angle triangle star pattern we were displaying stars in every columns that we calculated but in this case we are printing the stars only at certain positions and in some positions we are not displaying stars instead of that we are displaying a space so now what we have to do is we have to print the stars only in certain positions and in certain positions we have to print the spaces so now again we have to come up with the logic so where we have to print the stars and where we have to print the spaces okay now if you look at this pattern then we are printing the star in the first column of every row so while printing every row or while printing every line when we are in the first column or when the column number is one we have to print the star so what we can do is we can add that condition to the code that we have written here so here what we are doing is instead of displaying star in every possible columns calculated what we do we will add some more condition if those conditions are true then only we will display star if those conditions are false then we will print space so i can use the if conditional statement in here and i can say the first condition while printing the columns for every line if column number 
is equal to 1 then we want to print the star while printing the stars if column number is 1 we want to print the star so what we are doing here is we are adding some conditions and if those conditions are true then we are displaying star when these conditions are not true we will display space so here we will have the else part and now I'm going to use the printer function and I'm going to display a space and after displaying a space I'm going to add second space here and that is for the separation between the columns or the character. So instead of this star we are displaying space and the second space that we are adding is for the separation in both the cases. Okay. So now if I save this program and if I run this code and if I say number of rows is uh, 5 now you guys can see star is displayed in the first column of every line or every row. So here instead of this space if you want you can display some other character for example let us say hash symbol if I save that if I run this code and if I say 5 now you guys can see star is displayed in the first column of every row and in all other places where we have to print something we are displaying hash now previously we are displaying space uh, I am displaying hash here just to show you guys now here what we have to do is we have to add in the conditions so that the pattern will appear like a right angle triangle hollow pattern okay now um, we're gonna go back to the image and the next condition that we can see here is that whenever we are in the last row we are displaying star in every column so if you look at the fifth row here we are displaying star in every column but one thing is how we can say that we are in the last row because in this pattern the user is going to enter the number of rows that we want to print and that value is present in the numrows variable okay and the row number in our program is starting from 1 so let us say user says i want this pattern for 10 number of rows 10 number of lines and the row number starts from 1 so what will be the row number of the last row that will be 10 so by using this logic that is if the row number is equal to the value present in the numbers variable we can say that we are in the last row and when we are in the last row we want to display star in every columns so we can add that condition now we will use or because uh, if any one of this condition is true we want to display the star okay so the second condition that we want to add is whenever we are in the last row we want to display star so we can check that whether we are in the last row or not by checking the value of this row num variable so if the row num contains a value which is equal to the value present in the num rows variable then we can say that we are in the last row and in that case we want to display star in every possible columns okay now i'm gonna save this program i'm gonna run this code i'm gonna say 10 rows now you guys can see star is displayed in the first column of every row and also in all columns of the last row and all other remaining places we are displaying hash at the moment but later we will display space okay okay now what we have to do is we have to come up with the logic for displaying this diagonal line now let us look at this first star it is displayed when row number and column number when row number is 1 and when column number is 1 this star is displayed and again if you look at this one then row number is 2 column number is 2 if you look at this one row number is 3 column number is 3 if you look at this one row number is 4 column number is 4 if you look at the this one row number is 5 column number is 5 so we can say that whenever we have row number is equal to column number we have to display the star so it will display the stars in this diagonal line so we can add that condition to the code now 
So here we will add one more condition and we will use R to separate the conditions because if any one of this condition is true, then we want to display the star. And the latest condition that we want to add now is whenever we have row number is equal to column number, we want to display the star. Here I'm using this equal to comparison operator in all these cases, okay? So now if I save this program and if I run this code and if I say like 10 rows, now you guys can see we have the star displayed in this right angle triangle shape, but here we have the hash. So let's get rid of that hash here in this code. So instead of hash, we will display space, save the program, run it. I'm going to say 10 rows. Now you guys can see we have the hollow right angle triangle pattern. Now we can modify this program and we can display some different numbers. For example, here instead of star, if you want, we can display the row number. So I'm going to use the percentage D and I'm going to display row number. And after that here, instead of displaying space, if you want, we can display some other numbers. You know, we can construct this uh, pattern however you want. For, so here I'm going to display the column number value. Okay. You can experiment with this code. Save the program, run it. I'm going to say five rows. Now you guys can see the pattern will look something like this. So you can make it display, you know, whatever the numbers or whatever the symbols that you want it to display. Okay. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.